top strategy for me uh, goes back years ago, uh, and I think it's not just for SAS, but for learning any kind of program like SAS, is to know how one tip programs a computer to uh, do anything. Uh, so general uh, uh, programming logic. Uh, I learned, I started with computers. Again, we're going back years ago, so now we're back to my high school days. Uh, my, my first experience with computers was uh, wiring IBM accounting boards. Uh, if you're not familiar, you do a Google search for the IBM 401 accounting machine. Uh, and when I uh, went back to get my bachelor's degree, I learned uh, how to program in basic uh, throughout my schooling, uh, besides learning SAS and SPSS and Biomed and numerous other packages that were available at the time. Uh, had to learn to program in basic Pascal, Fortran, uh, and I'm sure numerous other languages that I've forgotten since then. Uh, but Knowing how to get a computer to do something uh, was critical of her, in my mind for being able to uh, easily pick up a language like SAS or SPSS. Uh, once you were able to do that, uh, the main way or the main help that I found in learning those languages uh, were, was uh, working with them. Uh, uh, simply uh, trying to find out how you could solve any problem that you happen to have uh, by doing uh, the a crit now those two are basic so the built basic building blocks uh, uh, which I consider the first step uh, in learning a language like that a uh, second critical uh, help for me was being active on online communities, helping other people. Uh, it, for, for me, uh, trying to help others solve problems actually was the best way uh, back then for me to learn those languages as well as uh, uh, helping other people uh, uh, tr trying to do the uh, same thing. Uh, and that's held true to today. A uh, language like SAS grows every year, and there's no way anyone uh, can be expert in all of its facets. Uh, and so it's a continual learning curve. Uh, and uh, uh, going on uh, forums like, like the first one that I uh, familiar with is one called SAS L S A S dash L, uh, which was a basically a, a bulletin board uh, that people would put questions on. And, uh, the rest of the world of the, uh, in that area would try to help folks answer, well, show them how to do uh, whatever whatever it is the person was trying to accomplish. Uh, SASL still exists, but I think it's declined in popularity because it's kind of a, a old mainframe type of logic, uh, that, or not logic, but mainframe type presentation. And it's been pr pretty much uh, replaced by uh, SAS started a similar uh, discussion forum that they call the SAS discussion forums or the SAS communities. Uh, and to this day, I still post occasionally on SASL uh, quite a bit on the uh, discussion forums. Uh, and like I said, I'm retired, so it's not for me to uh, uh, trying to reach any uh, goal, uh, career goals, uh, but more uh, a combination of paying it forward, if you will, by answering other people's questions, uh, but just as important. It's the way I uh, keep aware of what problems are people confronting, uh, uh, what solutions are they using, uh, and for me, learning uh, what's available 
and uh, how to how, how to solve problems by using a language like SAS. Uh, those so the building blocks, uh, the discussion forums uh, were the two principal things that that I found uh, essential to to, uh, to learn and keep up one's knowledge of SAS. The other being uh, presentations. And so throughout my career, whenever I've had a chance to uh, present a solution uh, to a group, I would, whether that be at the local level, a regional level, or a, a, an international level. Uh, when you have to write a paper and present a paper about a topic, uh, at least for personally for me to be comfortable doing that i've got to know the topic and so uh, uh preparing and presenting such a presentation forces you uh, unless you want to look like a fool uh to learn uh, uh that topic uh as well as you can well it's very much like teaching uh uh so that you uh, are comfortable presenting, can can answer questions, and uh, just as importantly, know when to say, "I don't know that answer." Uh, that uh, that combination of the three, so the building blocks, uh, uh, the discussion forums, which is another way of saying uh, uh, talking with uh, the community, uh, sharing, uh, and presentations, I think, are the three most important aspects uh, of, for learning a language like SAS.